Hurricane Ignacio approaches the islands, officials across the state are preparing. KITV4's Mike Cherry live at the Civil Defense Agency on the Big Island. So, Mike, how are our officials gearing up? Yeah, good morning, Ashley. As you mentioned, we are at the Hawaii County Civil Defense, and we'll dive right on in because the plan is always fluid. And, and joining me this morning is Daryl Oliveira. Daryl, what can you tell us this morning as far as how your plans are ramping up this morning? Well, good morning. And, and first, you know, we're going to maintain our plans and actions as we had set them up from uh, earlier this week. And that is, even though the track has shifted a little further north, looking more favorable for Hawaii Island, we can still expect to experience tropical storm conditions starting late tonight. In fact, we're ex expecting the surf to build today. So with the tropical storm force winds forecasted for Hawaii Island to begin late tonight, our plans are to continue with uh, opening uh, emergency shelters later today. And we would ask that the community just monitor our broadcasts and our information releases. We'll be identifying those shelters. They've already been identified internally, but we'll let the public know which facilities will be open based on the latest and most current information we get from the Weather Service and give them lots of time to get to the shelter safely. Now, this is an always fluid situation. I know you guys are always adjusting your game plans. Yesterday, you conducted sweeps around the island, of course, with the high surf on the south, or I'm sorry, on the west and the east shores. Uh, what will continue today as far as the civil defense is concerned? Right. As you mentioned, we did a comprehensive coastal area sweep yesterday, making door-to-door -door contact with residents, especially in the Kapoho area, areas that were affected heavily by Izel and previous uh, tropical storm surge runoff. So the met with a lot of good contact and uh, I guess confirmation from the residents. They're getting the information. They're initiating their own plans. We'll continue to maintain that situational awareness of what's happening out there. Our first responders giving us field observations. We'll collaborate with the weather service, verify their models and what we're seeing, and just continue to keep the public updated. And as I mentioned, just continue with our action plans as was set in motion. All right, thank you so much, Daryl, this morning. Okay, and as he mentioned, uh, the storm continuing to move to the north just a little bit doesn't mean that we're out of the woods uh, just yet. So, again, keep your uh, hurricane, uh, hurricane preparedness kits at hand. Stock up a little bit if you need to. Reporting from Hawaii Civil Defense, or Hawaii County Civil Defense, rather, Mike Cherry, KITV4 News.